Hi, my name is Tade Chiu, and I'm going to show you how my iDoc extension works. First off, why did I build this extension? Well, the main purpose is to replace PDF with HTML. PDF is hard to handle, in a way, because it's hard to edit, freely at least. HTML is totally free and easily handled. But what we want to do is to be able to view the hypertext documents in your browser and edit them just in place. That's what my extension does. Now, how to edit? For instance, I have a web page that I want to edit. All I have to do is click on my extension here push that button and we're good. I can edit there. There. I can put this in italic. There we go. It works well. It does what you want. Now, what would be the purpose of editing a document if you can't save it on your computer? All you have to do to save this on your computer is Command S for Mac users or Control S for Windows users, which is what I'm going to do. I save it. And if I go to my hard drive, the file is done. I can open it. By double clicking, let's open that, and it's got all my edits. Now, of course, I can still see it sold on my computer, and I can still edit it using the same extension. And it works. I can save it again. And replace it in this case. Now you need to know that there is no internet required here. I mean I, I can be totally off the internet, I can have no connection whatsoever and it will still work. That's something that is really great in my opinion, especially compared to say the weakness of Google Docs in this regard. So this extension already does a lot. Now, in the latest version of the extension, I introduced something a bit new, which is graphs. I'd like to talk about this for a while. How to access this feature? You can go to Window, Extensions. There is my extension, and there is the Option button, which I begin to use in the latest version. I already have a bunch of stuff here, and basically what it does is it source drafts of what you are currently editing. For instance, I've got a folder here and I'm editing the Wikipedia page of the gunpowder plot. Now if you go to the page in question, there is no dot here. That's something that I added just for the purpose of the demo. Of course, if I click here, I can start to edit. There we go. I can edit it. And actually, it's going to powder that, that. And I can save the draft again. Draft. And see? The edits. This is already a great feature. But of course, this is something you can do with any page. For instance, here I'm on the internet. I have made some edits. And craft. If I go to the option page and reload, I have a new stuff and fry stuff here that I can open and here it is. Actually, 
It's this one. I already had one. The truly great Steve Jobs. It has been saved. I can remove that one. This is the end of the demo. I hope that you found it interesting. Thanks for listening and please have a go.